Hi, I'm Ron with Lakeshore. Kids are natural explorers, so we're going to create a unique way for children to share their discoveries as they explore with their senses. When we go outside, our senses are engaged from what we see, smell, hear, and touch. So we're going to create, design, and organize an exploration kit that kids can use to record, collect, and ultimately share their discoveries. And then I'll show you how to use their exploration kit with a scientific method. But first, let's create the exploration kit. We're going to start off with an empty cereal box that you can decorate. So I've already done mine. So for kids to do this, they need an empty cereal box, construction paper, scissors, glue, and their imagination. And then on one side of the box, put some blank paper. Now this is going to be a great service for them to write and draw on during their exploration. And then we need to fill our exploration kit with some observational tools. Here are some suggestions of some things you can include in your child's exploration kit. These choices of observational tools can be used for various types of exploration. The picture cards can be used to reference or match things they see outside. A pair of kid safe tweezers is always helpful. They can use a brush, for example, to brush away soil or dirt from rock samples. A magnet, a magnifying glass, resealable plastic bags for any samples they might be collecting during their exploration, and a choice of writing utensils. With your child's exploration kit all set, let's apply to the scientific method. And the scientific method is an organized approach of acquiring empirical knowledge. Empirical knowledge is what we experience when we use our senses and observation. And for our young learners, we'll have a four-step process. Reflect and ask, plan and predict, exploration and reflection. Let's start off with reflect and ask. This is where you want to take some time with your child to find out what they want to explore and what senses are going to be engaged. Maybe they want to go outside and listen to different sounds and draw them. Or on a cloudy day, they can look up to the sky and see what kind of shapes the clouds are making, and they can draw those. In fact, there's another Learning at Home video that I did that you can check out that's all about looking at clouds and fun ways they can share them. Or maybe you can start off with a question of the day. Like on my example, I have, how many birds will you see? And then that way, you can start sharing and talking about the different places they might go and find birds when they get outside which leads to plan and predict. Have them organize all the observational tools they're going to need and put inside their exploration kit before they go outside. So for my example of looking for birds, we can introduce the idea of a toy spyglass. Now this is one of the free resources you can get at lakeshorelearning.com. It's a resource craft that's made with a paper towel roll and construction paper. And as a child uses it outside, they can focus their attention on one spot in the sky or in a tree as they're looking for birds. And then they can also include that right there in the box. They're going to be recording how many birds they see, so we want to make sure we include some writing utensils. And to really invest them in their exploration, have them predict. So in this example, predict how many birds they might actually see. And now they're ready for exploration, to go outside and actually start looking for all those birds. And they start marking down all the birds they see and maybe even labeling the different types of birds that they see. Which then leads to reflection afterward. Take the time with your child to reflect on all their discoveries. And then in this example, you can actually look at and compare their actual number of birds they found with their prediction. Help them see the difference. Discuss why. This might even lead to you researching with your child the migration pattern of different birds in your area. So they can try this exploration again at a different time of the year to see if they observe anything different. Maybe during their exploration they're using sample bags to collect different things. So if they're using sample bags, one, two, three, or several, here's a suggestion that you can use during reflection. For the sample bags, I like to put a piece of paper in each one of the bags. And if there are multiple bags being used, we can bind them together at the bottom. To do this, I add a piece of tape first, and then I use a hole puncher to punch holes in each one of the bags. The tape makes it easier to punch a hole through this thin plastic. And then, we can turn each bag over like a page in a book to reflect upon their discoveries. We can look at the notes they made for each one of the samples, 
or they can tell you and you can write the notes down for them. Another note on reflection. Plan ahead of time when you're going to reflect with your child, whether it be right after their play or a different time of the day, like before bed. That reflection time helps your child recall and retain their discoveries. We'd love to see all their exploration kits and all the different things they discovered. So post a photo or video on social media with the hashtag LearnWithLakeshore. I hope you enjoyed this Learning at Home video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning Channel to see more. Until next time, keep on learning. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.